Pro mó Sono do mó jornalzinho All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, cherisher and sustainer of the world, master and owner of the day of judgment, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Infinite, infinite blessings be upon the King of Kings. Infinite blessings and salutations be upon the King of Kings, the star of stars, the most unique personality. Wallahi, unique in every sense of the word. Allah's beloved Habib, our master and guide, none other than Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Peace and blessings be upon his noble family, the Ahlul Bayt. Peace and blessings be upon his noble companions, the Ridwanullahi ta'ala ajma'in. I would like to greet one and all with the universal greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear respected brothers in Islam, as we are aware, the ayah that I have read from the Holy Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Qul in kuntum tuhibun Allah, fattabi'uni yuhbikum Allah. O oh my beloved Habib, O oh my beloved Rasul, O oh my Nabi, if you want to gain proximity to me, if you want to love me, if you want to gain closeness to me, if you want to befriend me, then follow, tell your Ummah, then follow my beloved Habib Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let me just repeat that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Holy Quran that Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inform your ummah, tell your nation that if they want to gain proximity to me, if they want to love me, if they want to befriend me, then they must follow you, Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Already from this ayah we can understand the importance of loving the Holy Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Normally, if you love someone and someone loves you unconditionally, you love that person in totality. You love that person in totality. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is saying, if you love me and you want to gain proximity to me, follow my happy. So what do you need to do to gain closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You need to do the actions that are beloved to the Habib of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. By doing this, you will gain closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala automatically, then inshallah, all our sins will be forgiven. All the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, La yu'minu ahadukum hatta akuna أحب إليه موالديه وولدي والناس أجمعين. The Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says, none of you can be a true believer. None of you can be a true believer until you do not love me more than your parents, until you do not love me more than your children. والناس أجمعين. Until you do not love me more than anyone else in this world. By loving the Holy Prophet وسلم, you are guaranteed in the session of the day of Hashem. Say subhanAllah. This is good news for everyone. By loving the Holy Prophet وسلم, you are guaranteed in the session on the day of Hashem. I would like to narrate the story which most of you or all of you could be familiar with. Once Hazrat Umar was in the court of the Holy Prophet The Holy Prophet asked him, O oh Umar, how much do you love me? Hazrat Umar responded, Ya Rasulullah I love you so much. I love you so much except for my own life. 
The Holy Prophet وسلم, responded to Hazrat Umar O Umar, your Iman is not complete. Your Iman is not complete. Immediately, Hazrat Umar replied, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am taking an oath. From now on, I love you more than my own life. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Umar, your Iman is now complete. Once again, from this we can understand and realize the importance of loving the Habib of Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear respected brothers in Islam, I ask you, what kind of love should you have for the Holy Prophet What kind of love should you have for the Holy Prophet A strong desire to see him, to be in his company, to always be ready to sacrifice your own life and wealth for the Holy Prophet to always obey what the Holy Prophet has commanded us to do and to abstain from what he has forbade us to do. To act on the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Dear brothers, love of the Holy Prophet is what differentiates the believers in the perfection of the Iman. SubhanAllah! Are you hearing me? Love of the Holy Prophet is what differentiates the believers in the perfection of the Iman. On the authority of Hazrat Anas radiallahu once a man came to the Holy Prophet and he said, Ya Rasulullah when is Qiyamah? When is Qiyamah? The Holy Prophet asked the man, What have you prepared for Qiyamah? The man responded, Ya Rasulullah, I have not prepared much for the day of Qiyamah. O Prophet of Allah, I did not perform too many Nasir Salahs. Nasir Salahs, by the way, not for. I did not perform too many Nasir Salahs. I did not perform too many Nasir fasts. I did not disperse too much sadaqa, too much charity. I did not prepare much for the day of judgment. But one thing I had, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is love for Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded immediately by saying, Indeed, if it is what you are saying it is, then you will be with me in Jannah. SubhanAllah. Dear respected brothers, from here we can understand that actions, listen carefully please, that actions depend on Iman. And the love of the Holy Prophet is the life of Iman. Let me repeat that for those that didn't understand me properly. Actions depend on Iman and love of the Holy Prophet وسلم, is the life of Iman. Say SubhanAllah. Subhanallah. It is proven from here that the love of the Holy Prophet وسلم, Wallahi is greater than other deeds. Let's look at one of the companions of the Holy Prophet وسلم, the first Khalifa of Islam. None other than Siddiq Akbar, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala. Once there was a battle between the Kuffar from the Quraysh and, and the Muslims. From the side of Hazrat Sayyidina, of the, from the side of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was none other than Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala. And from the side of Abu Jahl was a son of Hazrat Siddiq Akbar radiallahu ta'ala Because of the love that Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala possesses 
for the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because of this love, he was prepared to fight against his own son. How many of us sitting here today are prepared to fight against their own sons, or even fight against their own fathers for the love of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? After a few days from, of the battle, the son of Siddiqui Akbar accepted Islam. After accepting Islam, the Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu and his son were discussing a few matters. In between those matters, the talk came about of the battle. The son of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, Oh my beloved father, do you remember in the battle when my sword reached your neck? I did not touch you, I did not harm you because you are my father. Upon hearing just this much, Siddiqui Akbar immediately said, Oh my son, listen, I take an oath on my Lord in whose life, in whose head my life is, that had my sword reached your neck, I take an oath on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I would have, for the, because of the love of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I would have not hesitated, but I would have killed you because you were the enemy of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Upon, we can understand from, from this alone, the love of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq possessed for him took preference over his love for his own son. Dear brothers, in reality, whoever has strong Iman and loves the Holy Prophet وسلم, more than life, more than wealth, more than anything else in this world, is a sign of the true believer. It's a sign of a true me. I would like to end my discourse today by quoting a famous poet which most of you are aware of. Hazratullah Mahitba. Ki Muhammad se wafa tu ne to hum tere hai ye jahan cheez hai ki ya loho kalam tere hai For those who don't understand Urdu, it simply means if you are loyal to Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we are yours. The universe, the universe is nothing. The tablet and the pen are yours. I would like to take this opportunity to supplicate in the mighty God of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this Mubarak day of Yawm al-Jum'ah that Allah inculcates in our hearts true and sincere love for the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May we emulate his sunnah in our everyday lives to the best of our ability. I would also like to take this opportunity to make dua for my mentor and my guide, His Eminence, Piratari, but Hazrat Allama Qibla Mufti Muhammad Akbar Hazabi Sir, Mufti Azam, South Africa. May Allah grant him long, healthy life, and each and every educator of Darul Ulum Pretoria, may Allah grant them long, healthy lives to continue serving the deen of Islam the way it's supposed to be served, and in particular, my beloved Ustad, who is seated in front of me, Hazrat Allah Mahafiz Mawlana Shagir Ali Saab, who goes the extra mile and sacrifices his personal family time to teach me after hours to reach my dream of becoming Ali Medin. I would also like to ask one and all for forgiveness. If I had said anything out of context, may Allah forgive me. And may he forgive you. وَمَا تُوفِقِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ Do you know these 
इस कलाम हम पाए पाए शेर साधी शिराजी रहमतुल्लाह है बिफोर दैट ही वाज ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन लोग एक बार तो शीत है वो तो दस डेजर्ट एंड माउंटेन वंस इट वाज एन एन एंड ही वाज लुकिंग प्लेस to save themselves from the rain. There was a rock, big storm. He went under the big storm, the rock, to save himself from the rain. He was sitting under the rock. It was raining. Because of that, drop of water was coming down. One, two, three, four, and then st started flowing. If I should learn, even every day one word, continuously, and now my age is more than forty years, how much knowledge I should get? Then he started learning, and he, at that age, he started learning, and you know. Became a, such a great scholar of the world, unique personality. She had said, "Dear Muhammad, the Allah le, to learn the Din of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in this old age is Sunnah of Siddiq Akbar Rabbi Allah Taala." As the woman also learn in this age, so this is a good opportunity. And Darul Room, Victoria provides the adult classes. Those who are responsible for family members and to provide them risky halal and fulfill their needs, even after hour, he joins the Darul Room. Inshallah, he will be one day Alam Adin, like you heard just now. That young man amongst yourself in this area. And how he spoke in front of you? Would you would like to do become like him? Inshallah. Inshallah, if you are going to join very soon, Inshallah, you will be scholars of Islam. So Darul provided you this uh, classes uh, after our evening and think properly. Life you can't just yesterday, uh, tomorrow. Who will be allowed? Who? What is the guarantee? So if you learn the Din of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in this age, you will be the follower of Abu Bakr Siddiq رضي الله تعالى عنه. Hazrat Umar, Umar, Hazrat Usman, Ali رضي الله تعالى عنه. Great companion. Do I have the honor of being able to give you a gift of my life?